Hey guys, and welcome back to Crow Country. When we last left off, we were wrapping up some secrets that we had found. So, I think we need to go to the undersea zone. I keep forgetting about that guy. And you know what? In the interest of, uh, you know, not making mistakes in the future, let's go drop this guy. Right, where is he? There you are. These baby guys really are quite nasty because they move at quite the sprightly pace. But that's no matter. We have gun and lots of it. So, we're going to go to the underwater world. And, ooh, I see you. We are going to get another secret. Now, I'm wondering if this place is going to be crawling with enemies. I mean, not exactly crawling, but there's an enemy or two here. Let's see if we can't take him out. Come on, shit for brains. You're going to be awkward, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to lazily kind of try and climb through the geometry of the level. In fact, that is exactly what you're doing. Well... We're not going to be putting up with any of that nonsense. You can die. Alright. Let's just make sure there's nothing else. Oh, okay. There is a few. We've only got six rounds left, which is... Well, it's not ideal. Let's get the shotgun out. Let's try and dispense some justice. With the old boomstick. Cool. That'll work for now. Alright. Oh, hello. Didn't even see him down there. Well, I suppose... We can drop this guy as well. Get rid of as many of these... Annoying little shit stains as possible. Right, well. Flame of fuel is always a friend of ours. Especially where we're going. Did we leave any um, ammunition down here? I can't remember. I'm sure. There is a crystal skull there, though. Crystal skull. Listen to me. Talking like a jackass. I, of course, mean a crystal crow. So. That looks pretty clear. Alright, well. Now, I can't remember if I showed this off. But, here... There is a storage. Storage. Staff only. The handle is broken. It won't budge. I can't think of any way to open it. Well, I can think of a way to open it. We have a new key for this kind of thing. Yes. That's right. We're going to open it with our flamethrower. There was a log, and I can't remember if we actually picked it up. Ooh, look at him ominously staring at us through the hole. Get out of here. Right, so we've got a large med kit, which we will grab. There's some goodies in here. Some shotgun shells, which don't mind if I do. Everything is locked and loaded as much as possible. More handgun bullets, which are in very short supply for us at the moment. Okay. So, what have we got here, Mara? Hmm. So this one is hooting significantly more times in a row. Let's count it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So eight. I think that chimes eight times. Interesting. And there's another crow there. Maybe, just maybe, we can make use of that. Anyway, it's a mushroom. I'm a little mushroom boy. I'll use my mushroom magic to grant you a wish. Tell me, what is it that you wish? Uh, what's that? You want me to improve your magnum revolver? To each their own, I guess. Uh, I mean, sure. Wish granted. We now have the gold-plated... Magnum. Uh, so, I mean, sure. 
So we can't carry any more grenades. That's unfortunate. Now, what else is there in here? There is some more flamethrower fuel, which we are always in the need for. And there's a brass scale. The dial measures in ounces, but the needle won't stay still. There's an octopus sitting in the tray. And down here, there's a keypad. Well, 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 well. If we add in the code 1825, that will open us up another secret. It's a box of Magnum Ammo. Now, I can't actually remember where we find the log which tells us about that but whatever it is there we have it it is ours so i believe if we hit up the map now that is all of the secrets in there we've got the delivery garage that's now kind of open and we only have three secrets left the one in the toilet which, ironically, is the pile of bones that we found right at the beginning of the game. Believe it or not, that's actually the final secret we're going to be getting. So, let's go to the hilltop. Because there are still some goodies left inside. Okay. Hopefully, there aren't too many more mutants back here. Now, we know... Okay, we got too many bullets to get some spare ones. Now, we, I think we've got to push this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And another secret is a packet of Magnum rounds. So we're up to 13 secrets. Happy with that. Okay, this place looks like it's a little bit more creepy cruelly than it was you can have a grenade and you sir can have large quantities of firepower delivered straight into your face well this place has changed since we've been here last it's on fire and there are mutants everywhere okay curious the flames of hell we're definitely going to leave the flames of hell Inconsequential. Okay, so that will give us nothing. History's deadliest poisons. Yeah, we're, we're not playing with history's deadliest poisons. No siree. We're not picking that up either. So, over here, we have our piano. Now, there are a couple of little things that we can actually use here. If I can get my notes back up. Da da da. I think it's. I don't need my notes. I'm pretty sure. Cage is one of them. Now, interestingly, there is. There's actually two lights on top of the piano, but I've only found two codes that we can use. And uh, I've 100% of the game. So I guess I haven't missed one? Question mark. I'm a little mushroom boy. I'll use my mushroom magic to grant you a wish. Tell me, what is it that you wish? Uh, what's that? You want me to improve the range of your flamethrower? To each their own, I guess. Wish granted. And there we go. The range of our flamethrower is now increased. Now, the flamethrower, as I said, is a frighteningly powerful weapon. And, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be enjoying that quite a bit later on in the game. Now there is one more that we can use here. It was cage and I th think uh hang on. No, I can't remember. Yeah, where's my notes? Ah, right. And I did forget that. And dead. So cage and dead are the two codes that we can use in here. If there are any more, uh, I can't remember them. But I'm pretty sure it was just the two. Anyway, we find ourselves in a new little area. 
We're only three rounds for our pistol, which is not exactly ideal. Hello, sir. Or oh, you look like a ma'am. Hard to tell these days. We don't question it. Get out of here. Questioning it these days gets you cancelled. Evening. There we go. Right, we stand on them to grind them into the ground afterwards. Yeah, we really need some hangar bullets. To be fair, there is a massive abundance of shotgun shells and things anyway. So we're not going to worry too much. Ooh. I guess ask and you shall receive. How the gods smile on us this day. It's a page from a magazine. Watch out for small explosives lying on the ground. They're rigged to blow when touched. Keep a keen eye. Some of them look fairly similar to other items you might want to pick up. Yes. Yeah, we, yeah. We're not going to be falling for that nonsense. That didn't sound good. Somebody just got shot. Or maybe somebody was defending themselves. I guess we may never know. Anything in the locker? It's empty. Now, the stuff that's in these lockers, like other containers, is RNG as well. Right, well, let's open this up. And this. Yes, you remember where this is? This is behind the dungeon. Which is kind of cool. In fact... Uh, in fact, we could actually go back into the dungeon and pick up some shotgun shells, couldn't we? Because there were some in there. Might as well keep topped up along the way. And after all, it's fairly quick and easy to get back through here. So it was in there, and that was the Cyclops. So let's go... Get this computer firing on all cylinders. And we want two, 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 one, and one. Cool. Now, I'm very tempted, actually, to use a med kit just to get ourselves into a better frame of mind. Now I've already completed this game on an S rank, I'm not super bothered about doing it again. However, I would like to. Now, I don't know how much better these medkits are. If you notice that the large medkit is not improved, but it's kind of redundant because that one does completely heal us anyway. So let's go back up to fine. Because I don't like running around in these games uh, wounded, you know. Although I'm pretty sure just being injured in this game uh, is little more than a... I think it's a little more than an animation. It's not like, for instance, in Resident Evil 2 where you were really injured, uh, you were slow as molasses. Although maybe you are a little bit quicker. Not sure. Anyway. Uh, State Court, 185 Central Avenue, Atlanta. Okay, legal summon, legal summonings, final warning. Mr. Crow. We sent you a letter 14 days ago and you have n and have not yet heard back. This is a serious matter that demands your immediate attention. You should know that Elaine Marshall's family have appointed a lawyer. The case against you is being prepared as I write this letter. Sincerely, G. Williams, State Court. Yeah, that seems pretty bad. D. Pike, Park Operations. Oh, let's go have a little look inside, shall we? Oh. I guess we know where the gunshot came from. Oh, shit. He's dead. I guess he shot himself. Should I call the police? Mara, I thought you were the police. There's a handgun lying next to him. I better not touch it. Yeah, best not. Oh, another crystal skull. Crystal crow. I'm going to keep calling them uh, crystal skulls. Fuck it. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, Edward had his office door electrified, decently high voltage too. I turned off the mains power, but the door was still electrified. So, I think he must have hooked 
it up to a generator somewhere in the underground level. Hmm, curious. It's a model of the Crow Country Park. It looks like there are four main areas and a few smaller sections around the outside. Mm-hmm. Some more handgun rounds. Always going to come in handy. Ah, Mr. Pike, what happened to you? A bottle containing an antidote. I can't carry any more right now. The following doors are now locked electronically. Dungeon, Mermaid, Cyclops, Wolf, Serpent, Crypt, Of What's that? How do you say that? Ophelia. They can only be opened via the dungeon's computer terminal. Yep. Edward has pulled all the funding from Cosmic uh, for Cosmic Future, and we halted construction. He said it was just a temporary delay, but I can tell when he's lying. Something is seriously wrong with Edward. He looks sick, but at the same time, there's kind of a maniac energy in his eyes. I asked Holman about it, but he gave me the silent treatment. So whatever it is, I think they're in on it together. I tried to spy on Edward and Tolman during their meeting. It sounded like they were trying to talk to somebody, a third person in the room who wasn't talking back. But they were talking like how you talk to a baby or a young child, speaking slowly, using simple language. What's going on? Hmm. There's a videotape in the slot. Let's play it. This is a message for Edward Crow from Douglas Pike. Edward, we've been friends for over 30 years. You entrusted me with the running of your theme park, a task I have relished. You have always shown me kindness and always paid me well for my work. However, I can no longer remain silent. Edward Crow, your crimes have not gone unnoticed, nor will your sins go unpunished. As for Elaine Marshall, I hope she never forgives us. For none of us deserve it. Goodbye. I guess there's his... Hmm, that's the end. How bizarre. So these guys in this late hour of whatever's going on here are starting to turn on each other. Or at least they're starting to turn on Crow. How curious. Smells strongly of bleach. And yet there's still a dark stain on the floor. I wonder what they were trying to clean up. Hmm. Door is stuck. Won't open. No matter. Maintenance staff. There is a button behind a panel on the back of the wooden crow house. You can use it to access the controls for the big animatronic crow. Okay. A staff memo. Crow moved the electric battery charger to the southeast underground level. I know that means you won't have access to it anymore. I think that was the idea. Hello. Who are you? You you don't look so well. You know, I guess we're going to have to talk to her. Are you right, man? Ugh. My head. I, th I threw up. Hey, it, it's all right. Don't worry about it. Uh, can I ask, did something happen to you? It only grazed me. I, I thought I'd be fine. I don't even know what it was. My head is pounding. My stomach is... Ah, uh, right. You were attacked. I feel dizzy. I have something that might make you feel better. At least for a little while. Give her an antidote. You should take this. Thanks. I, I think that actually helped. Oh, I'm so rude. What's your name? I'm Mara. Thanks, Mara. I'm Natalie, Natalie Crow. What are you doing here, Mara? I'm actually looking for your father, for Edward Crow. What on earth do you want with father? You filed a missing persons report, didn't you? Yeah, I, I did. You're who they sent? Yep, I'm Agent Mara Forrest. But you're so... 
What? What about the man I spoke to on the phone? Detective Harrison something. Detective Harrison James. He, uh, he couldn't make it. Problem with his car. So they sent you instead. Yep. Uh-huh. Sounds questionable at best, but all right. This is your father's office. He's not in there. I've been out here for hours and I haven't heard a sound. Be that as a may, I'd still like to take a look inside. Do you know how to get in? That's going to be difficult. You'll need the key. It's a big fancy gold one. Gold key. Got it. And you'll have to turn off the electrified door handle. How do I do that? No idea. It wasn't electrified the last time I was here. Father must have only recently had it installed. Why? What's he hiding in there? I'm sorry, Mara. I'm still not feeling great. Ah, right. Yeah, of course. I'll leave you alone. Sorry. You're kind. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess there's no point beating a dead horse. Let's see if there's anything else in these lockers. There's a grenade. Can replace the one that we used earlier. And it's empty. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure we're up to scratch with everything so far. And the music in this game is so good. Oh, it's so good. It's Holman's Records. March 27th, 1988. Alarm triggered at 2.15 a.m. Two more guests appeared in the pool room. This time, I made sure the cameras were running. So, we have proof. They came out of the pool. They're worse than the first. Broken. Wrong shape. Falling apart. I feel heartless describing them so, but I have no other words for them. Boss said we wouldn't be able to move them like we did with the first guest. He spent 23 minutes trying to talk to them. Then he shot them both. Ish. Well, okay. I guess that's... Uh, I guess what else can you do to them? So these guests, these things they're coming from a pool somewhere all right well we don't need to go in there yet there's more crystal crows i i'm gonna go save the game guys because we're already on 20 minutes again so i guess we could go through here what i might do is hunt down some of these crows because i'm not going to be able to do any more recording now until tomorrow morning so yeah, we might do that. Um, obviously, I'm only going to be able to get the crows uh, that we have available to us. There's a few areas of the game that we haven't been in yet, so... And uh, considering there's 42 of them... Now, the actual entire game map in this game isn't that big. It's actually a relatively small, self-contained game. And I like that. It's nice. Right. Anyway, that is where we part ways for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.